हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम चेतन धाजेया असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डेयरी टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एसएमसी कॉलेज ऑफ डेयरी साइंस आनंद आई एम कंटेंट राइटर इन पेपर 12 मॉड्यूल 19 पैकेजिंग ऑफ डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस द पैकेजिंग ऑफ सम ऑफ द डेयरी प्रोडक्ट्स सच एज बटर घी चीज एंड मिल्क पाउडर in this uh, products butter and ghee are the fat rich dairy products which has different uh, packaging requirement cheese is a fermented dairy products it is also has different uh, packaging requirement and milk powder is a dried product so accordingly we have to select the packaging material depending on the requirement of the product so first of all we will discuss the packaging of butter looking to the characteristics of butter butter consists of 80% milk fat 16% moisture and around 3% common salt because of high moisture content butter is susceptible to mold growth and lipolytic density flavor and color are easily absorbed by butter from its environment which is another major problem with butter and deterioration of the butter may take place due to rancidity that fat will get uh, rancid and that will give a rancid flavor in final product and butter has uh, tendency to lose moisture which will give surface hardening surface uh, in the surface uh, moisture will be evaporated and the surface of butter block will be hardened now from this characteristics of butter we have to decide the requirement of packaging material for butter so the packaging material should be non toxic harmless for the consumer's health it should be gdis proof moisture proof it's a low good uh, barrier for oxygen it should be low in metallic content because uh, metal will uh, oxidize the fat and it will give oxidized flavor in final product it should not transmit light because fat will get oxidized in the presence of light also now looking to the packaging material for bulk packaging of butter generally polyethylene bags and parchment paper along with corrugated boxes are used a tin plate container are the best for product protection but because of their high cost and very little quantity of butter is packed in the tin containers tin plate is not generally used the flexible packaging materials like vegetable parchment paper or the gdis proof paper or aluminum foil and paper board cartons which together give similar protection to the product are more commonly used as butter is highly susceptible to foreign odor care must be taken while choosing adhesive and printing inks used in the manufacture of the laminates the cartons protect butter while handling after packaging in primary wrapper in the distribution system as butter is stored in the refrigerator carton may be waxed with about 10 gsm wax on each side though it is not mandatory paperboard can be extrusion coated with polypropylene high impact polystyrene is also used in multi layer sheet extrusion with a variety of other polymers like polyethylene polypropylene polyethylene diphthalate polyvinylene dichloride and ethyl vinyl alcohol large packs of 10 20 and 50 kg of butter 
are packed formally in wooden barrels or boxes or in parchment paper lined corrugated boxes. For better handling, easier storage and more efficient use of storage space and economy, fiberboard boxes are introduced which are lined with parchment paper. Latest packaging material data being used are cello 1 to 2 mm thick aluminum foil trays with heat sealable PVDC cellophane or other suitable barrier material. Aluminum and PVDC or the polystyrene cups can also be used for butter packing and butter chiplets are packed in lacquered aluminum foil also. Now coming to the ghee, the ghee is uh, almost 100% of fat with very little moisture around uh, 0.2 to 0.3% obtained by boiling of butter at 110 to 115 degrees Celsius till all the water is evaporated with a grainy texture and characteristic flavor. The product needs to be protected from chemical spoilage and the density caused by oxygen, light, heat, moisture and metal ions. Ghee generally has tendency to absorb flavor from the environment like butter as it is also a fat rich product. Ghee is prone to oxidation as well as adulteration as it is purely milk fat and which is uh, very costly. So, other uh, vegetable fats are also adulterated in ghee. So, we have to take care for this also while choosing the packaging material. The packaging material for ghee should be uh, should have very good uh, fat or uh, grease resistance and it should have very good barrier properties against oxygen and moisture and it should be temper proof so that ghee cannot be adulterated by any other kind of fat. Looking to the packaging material of ghee, a major portion of ghee is packed in lacquered tin plate container of capacities ranging from 200 ml to 15 liters or 15 kgs. Since the product is very sensitive to oxygen, the tin plate containers are filled up to the brim without any air gap, so that no oxygen remains in the head space. And ghee packed in tin plate containers is fairly stable and has a very good shelf life of about 1 year. Alternate packages which are uh, plastic based are now gradually replacing tins for the so, uh, shorter shelf life 200 ml, 500 ml and 1 liter capacity pouches are made of polyethylene film or the multi layer or co extruded films of LDPE and HDPE are used, which are economical. And aluminum foil laminate standby pouches are also commonly used for packaging of ghee. For long term storage, stainless steel containers or tin plate cans are desirable. And ghee is also marketed in lined cartons with flexible laminated plastics as inner liner materials and in tetra packs. Laminated pouches of metallized polyester based films are also used. Recently it is packed in certain laminates and bag in box container which comprises of a pre-sealed bag made of polyethylene and polyamide laminates fitted in a spout and kept housed in a corrugated fiber box 
और डुप्लेक्स बोर्ड बॉक्स सेवन लेयर नाइलॉन कंटेनिंग सेल्फ स्टैंडिंग पाउच विथ क्लोजर इज ऑल्सो यूज ए लेमिनेट ऑफ एच डी पी एल डी पी इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर पैकेजिंग ऑफ घी द नेक्स्ट प्रोडक्ट इज चीज चीज इज एंजाइमेटिकली कोगुलेटेड एंड फर्मेंटेड डेरी प्रोडक्ट विच एज पी एच अराउंड फाइव टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव हेन्स इट इज वेरी प्रोन टू मोल्ड ग्रोथ बिकॉज ऑफ लो पी एच एंड हाई मोइस्चर कंटेंट जनरली द मोइस्चर कंटेंट वेरीज फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू एटी परसेंट इन चीज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द टाइप ऑफ चीज चीज इज एंजाइमेटिकली कोगुलेटेड एंड फर्मेंटेड डेरी प्रोडक्ट हैविंग पी एच बिटवीन फाइव टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव एंड कंटेंट्स अराउंड थर्टी फाइव टू एटी परसेंट मोइस्चर डिपेंडिंग ऑन द टाइप ऑफ चीज हेन्स इट इज प्रोन टू मोल्ड ग्रोथ ऑन द सर्फेस बिकॉज ऑफ लोअर पी एच एंड हायर मोइस्चर लुकिंग टू द पैकेजिंग मटेरियल रिक्वायरमेंट एनी मटेरियल टू बी यूज फॉर पैकेजिंग ऑफ नेचुरल चीज मस्ट गिव जनरल प्रोटेक्शन टू चीज इट शुड प्रिवेंट मोइस्चर लॉस इट शुड इम्प्रूव द अपेजेंस एंड प्रोटेक्ट अगेंस्ट माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड प्रिवेंट ऑक्सीजन ट्रांसमिशन नाउ पैकेजिंग मटेरियल फॉर चीज जनरली द प्रोसेस चीज आर पैक्ड इन एल्यूमिनियम फॉइल इन क्यूब्स विथ डिफरेंट शेप्स टीन प्लेट कैंस आर ऑल्सो यूज फॉर टू हंड्रेड ग्राम एंड अबो क्वान्टिटी पी वी डी सी कोटेड प्लास्टिक फिल्म्स आर सुटेबल फॉर चीज पैकेजिंग एज दे प्रोवाइड गुड ऑक्सीजन एंड मोइस्चर वेजर प्रॉपर्टीज प्रोसेस चीज इज पैकेज इन हॉट मेटालिक कंटेनर्स एंड वैक्स कोटेड सेलोफेन एल्यूमिनियम फॉइल पॉलीप्रोपिलीन पॉलीथिलीन पी वी डी सी मटीरियल इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर पैकेजिंग ऑफ प्रोसेस चीज क्रीम चीज इज पैक्ड इन फॉइल लाइंड कार्डबोर्ड बॉक्सिस और फिट स्टेबल प्लास्टिक पैक्स सदान इज यूज एज रेपिंग मटेरियल फॉर सम चीजिज एंड एज इवेक्यूशन एंड गैस फ्लसिंग इज यूज फॉर कोटेज चीज ग्रीन चीज इज पैक्ड बाय वैक्सिंग एंड पेराफिनिंग और अल्टरनेटिवली वैक्यूम पैकेज इन पॉलीथिलीन बैग्स रायपन चीज इज पैक्ड इन लेमिनेटेड सेलोफेन फिल्म एंड चीज कंज्यूमर पैक्स आर जनरली कंसिस्ट ऑफ लेकर्ड मेटल कैंस और लेमिनेट्स कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ नाइलॉन और पी वी डी सी को पोलीमर और पोलिएस्टर एंड पी वी डी सी को पोलीमर और नाइलॉन एंड पोलीथिलीन को पोलीमर सो दिस आर द डिफरेंट पैकेजिंग मटेरियल यूज फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ चीजेस इन इंडिया जनरली प्रोसेस चीज इज मार्केटेड इन द मार्केट नाउ नेक्स्ट प्रोडक्ट इज मिल्क पाउडर द पैकेजिंग मटेरियल सिलेक्टेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ मिल्क पाउडर लुकिंग टू दैट वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट रिक्वायरमेंट इज हैग्रोस्कोपिसिटी विच इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन स्मॉल पैक साइज वे रेसियो ऑफ पैक सर्फेस एरिया टू प्रोडक्ट इज वेरी हाई इन ट्रॉपिकल कंट्रीज बिकॉज ऑफ हाई ह्यूमिडिटी द हाइग्रोस्कोपिसिटी इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्टर कोजिविटी और द कोजन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट इज द सीरियस प्रॉब्लम एंड पर्टिक्युलरली इन हाई स्पीड पैकिंग लाइन्स then oxygen sensitivity pre heating releases the sulfhydryl group which protect against oxidation however still there are chances of oxidation and therefore for fat containing products the gas diffusion is important then uh, or either vacuum or nitrogen flushing is carried out then light sensitivity 
powder exposed to light for long period bleaches the surface and thereafter it accelerates fat oxidation. Then heat sensitivity, it affects flavor and solubility and ideal storage conditions are 18 to 19 degrees Celsius temperature and dry atmosphere for milk powder. Bulk density is very important because packaging size is affected because of uh, this and the free flowing properties improve with increased bulk density. Then order pickup, product containing fat is prone to pick up of uh, order from surrounding environment. High fat powders pick up order from packaging materials, surrounding atmosphere, stores, water and houses. Then static electricity, this problem is uh, very difficult to resolve. The plastic packaging materials are also important where anti-static anti agents are added such as uh, glycol alkyl esters etc. Now looking to these characteristics, the packaging material requirements for the milk powders are that they should have adequate mechanical strength to withstand damage during packaging, handling, transportation and storage is necessary. Resistance to climatic hazards, the material should be resistant to damage by exposure of high or low temperature and humid atmosphere. Then convenient closure, sealing is of supreme importance, simple effective reclosure is also desirable. Bulk packages should be light in weight, easy to handle and uh, easy to stack during transportation and storage. Empty packages should occupy minimum storage space before use. Very low water vapor and gas permeability. Dried milk absorbs moisture very easily and powder with more than 5 percent moisture gets deteriorated during storage. The stale and gluey flavors result from mallard reaction. It results in losses of solubility, color change, lumping and free flowing properties are affected. For long storage, vacuum and nitrogen flushing is essential, especially in hot climate. An impervious container is needed which should also be order proof. Then impermeability to light. To avoid surface bleaching and fat oxidation, the packaging material should be impermeable to light. Then inertness, durability, safety and utilizing minimum space are another requirements for the packaging material used for powder. Now the packaging material generally used for packaging of milk powder are the mainly one is uh, glass in forms of bottles, barrels, jars, etc. Then uh, metal uh, cans or uh, metal barrels or drums or bins are also used. Then wooden drums or bins or barrels are also used in some parts of the world. Then paper and paper derivatives are also applied, metal foils mainly and aluminum foils. Then thermoplastic and their derivatives and like composite films such as copolymer film, coated film, co-extruded plastic film, laminates etc. are used for packaging of powder. Then cartons lined with aluminum foil and polyethylene, bag in box which is uh, coated with aluminum and PE bag or plastic coated paper inside cartons. Then modified atmosphere packaging is used for the packaging of powder where 80 percent of nitrogen and 20 percent of carbon dioxide 
is uh, filled in the surrounding environment and oxygen content is reduced to less than 3 percent. For long storage, lacquer or print or pre lacquer aluminum foil or adhesive, uh, adhesive coated paper and polyethylene is used for the packing of powder. For shorter keeping quality, aluminum foil may be omitted and paper thickness increased to 70 GSM and coated with PVDC of 30 GSM. For bulk packaging, sex uh, made of craft paper laminates or parchment or polyethylene or aluminum, cellophane, bitumen, wax or paraffin are used. Even cast films now are used recently. The most common types of packaging material for the different powders such as uh, whole milk powder is laminates of paper, PE, aluminum foil, metallized uh, BOPP that is by axially oriented polypropylene or polyethylene or polyethylene terephthalate. For skim milk powder, generally HDP that is high density polyethylene or uh, low density polyethylene or laminates of HDP, LDP, LLDP, nylon, satan, etc. are used. Polyethylene coating or uh, wrinkling bag in box paper board or lined with paper or aluminum or metallized polyethylene can also be used. So, the powder packaging material in general can be the craft paper layers for strength required is 3 to 6 for 25 kg weight, outer craft paper bag strength of 70 GSM and second craft paper bag with uh, paper alone or with polyethylene lined with 95 GSM. For whole milk powder 4 to 6 ply craft paper and 3 mm of polyethylene is used. For skim milk powder 2 to 4 ply craft paper with 2 mm of polyethylene is used. Separate polyethylene liner is in a bag of 0 0.04 mm for 25 kg and 0 0.05 mm for 50 kg is used. Polyethylene varies in thickness from 0 0.02 to 0 0.08 mm as inside layer depending on the size of the bag or package. So friends, in this module we have discussed the packaging uh, requirements and uh, packaging material used for different products such as butter, ghee, cheese and milk powder depending on their characteristics different packaging materials are used. Thank you.